All right, hey, too. Welcome to the next part of the Wizard 101 walkthrough. So, uh, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, yeah, I did the uh, live commentaries on the last couple parts. So, now we're going to go ahead and head back to Mushu. And uh, first things first, we need to uh, talk to this J champion, I believe, for a side quest. So, let's go ahead and uh, get to that. What is this? The Jade Champion reads the message, a look of surprise crossing his face. This message tells much about Oni no Death's plans. With it, we should be able to free the area around the temple. Even as a spirit, you know Moss and you to me? Surely he is pure of mind. Tell him he will be remembered with honor, wizard. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and uh, go back to... Where were we? Village of Sorrow, yes. It's been a while since I did a commentary for Wizard 101, so... Young wizard, please come see me at the library at once. <sighs> it's a matter most urgent. I, I actually went to Harold, but uh, he didn't have anything, so... Yeah, let's talk to uh, this guy. He said I'd be remembered with honor? Thank you, revered wizard. I will now keep watch over my home and be at peace. Alright, let's talk to this Ken guy. You brought the key! Thank you, great one! Ken Shui reaches out for the key, but his hand passes through it. He looks surprised and confused. I'm a spirit? Forgive me, Great One. I did not realize I was not among the living. Even so, this great evil harms all good spirits here. Please find our leader in the town dojo. Even when he was among the living, he knew much about spiritual matters. He can help you stop this evil. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, take a visit to the town dojo. Uh, this video is pretty long. We do a lot of boss battles. I believe we do like three or four. So, uh, but I have a lot to talk about in this video. So sit back, relax, get your uh, food and water or whatever, and uh, enjoy this part. It's going to be pretty good. So let's go ahead and get into this town dojo. And so uh, here's Tingin. And uh, they kind of spoil it already says defeat. Ting Yin's body ripples like water until it shimmers and vanishes. A monstrous shape emerges from it. It is the demon Usanaki. You poor pitiful wizard. I am glad you showed up here. I will do you a favor. I shall put you out of your misery. Okay, so apparently this guy is a boss battle. Which is always, always great. Um, anyways, uh, let's get, let's get talking. Uh, let me actually look up this guy's interesting drops. I completely forgot about that. You snucky. I don't know how to spell his name. Maybe. Uh, let's go find out. Uh, come on, Central, help me out here. <laughs> uh, let's see, creatures, Mushu. Village of Sorrow. Yusunoki. Yusunoki. Yes, that's how you say it. Anyways, as far as I remember, I don't believe he drops anything amazing. Actually, he might have dropped... Yes, he drops the uh, best level 40 ice ring. So, uh, for those of you who are ice and you want that ice ring, he drops the best level 40. It's ice only, 236 health and 144 mana. So, pretty nice. Um, that's really it, I believe, as far as interesting drops go, so... Yeah, he also drops a deck, and that is the uh, best level 40 fire deck, so there's that, but uh, I don't care about decks too much. Anyways, let's get to we have a couple topics on hand. First off, I know I haven't been uh, posting... I haven't been really, you know, consistent with my posting the past, you know, 3-4 weeks. Um, you know, a bunch of things went down. I had a lot of things to do in school. I still do with, you know, my medical conferences. I've been incredibly busy this past month, basically. Um, May and now into April. And then, you know, my headset broke. That's why my voice sounds different. I am using a new headset. I did pick up some Turtle Beaches. Um, you know, my old headset, it's pretty good. You know, I got it for like 15 bucks and it lasted a year. So I can't really complain. Um... But yeah, I got these turtle beaches. Um, I probably should have gotten like Siberia's or something, but I didn't really feel like spending so much cash. Uh, so yeah, I went with these turtle beaches. Uh, so far, they're so good. Uh, so far, so good. Um, 
haven't really had any problems with them, so hopefully it'll uh, stay that way. The only problem I have is just the wire. They give you so much wire, and this thing is just gonna tangle. And ugh, I hate when headsets have like 15 feet of cable. I don't need 15 feet of cable. <laughs> you know, so. But you know, it is what it is. Um, I am gonna try to get back on schedule. You know, probably uh, this coming up Monday. Uh, you know, with you know the Final Fantasy wizards and pirates and stuff, uh, and all that other good, good stuff, good stuff. So, yeah, fizzle right there. <laughs> uh, so that that should kind of explain it. And then you know, got sick, and then yeah, just uh, a lot of a lot of things not going my way, so to say. Uh, <laughs> but you know, things are starting to settle down a bit, so. Just have my medical conference next month, and I'll just have SATs in a couple weeks. So, uh, it, things have slowed down. I am on spring break, and uh, I will talk about the subscriber meetup later on in this video in a bit as we uh, take this guy out the wraith. I think we should at least, and I believe we do 2,000 damage. Let's see. Love that wraith. Yeah, we take him out. And let's go ahead and uh, talk to him. At last I am free. I thank you, Riviat Wizard. I have been trapped here since the evil spirit pulled me from my family. I sense you carry a spirit cage. If you seek to capture the evil spirit, you will need a soul chain to bind it. One of the other good spirits. Can I help you forge one? Alright, so this guy was captured by evil spirits and we set him free. He's welcome. Um, now let's go talk back to the Ken Shui guy. We need to make some sort of soul binding chain or whatever he said we needed to make. Um, so yeah, here's uh, Ken Shui or whatever his name is. King Ying spoke of a soul chain? Yes, I am amazed at what I understand now. I see how spectral chains would work. For all the spirits here, who could help you forge a chain? Why, the blacksmith. Speak with Ji Hong Bi nearby. When she was alive, she could forge anything. Alright, so Ji Hong... What's her last name? Don't remember. But uh, Ji Hong's right over here next to her forge. Let's go ahead and pay a visit to her. Hello, hello. Welcome to Ji Hong Bi's metal shop. I haven't had customers in... Well, it's been a while. I'll be frank with you. I'm a ghost. I'm not sure what I can help you with, but whatever it is, it's free. You want a soul chain. Hmm. Never had anyone ask me for one, but lots of things change when you become a spirit. I can't make the chain myself, of course, but I can tell you how to do it. First, you'll need to defeat some walking dead to collect some dark souls. Then come back here. Uh, and when I when I saw you need to defeat ten dark, I mean def ten Walking Dead guys, I was about to like quit life, uninstall this game, <laughs> but not really. So uh, remember that one part where we just did a whole side quest. If you save that, and you could you could actually stack it with the main quest here, and so you'll defeat uh, Walking Dead uh, altogether. So I just cut that part out because you've seen enough of those Walking Dead guys, or I, actually I've seen enough of them. I, I cut out all the parts. <laughs> you guys had to see them. But, uh, yeah, 20 Walking Dead guys are, uh, pretty annoying silver chests. I, I, I actually, I actually get those sometimes now. I do them off screen sometimes, I actually win. Um, but whatever. Now I just show a quick walk. I decided to wind, do this side quest here that I have, that I actually forgot about, to defeat these wood walkers. Actually, uh, this recording session. Actually, just did a couple days ago, so it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty new. Usually, I record like a lot at one time, and then eventually I'll do commentaries over it. So, yeah, but I'll uh, speed these trees up. They do have death shield. I actually got really lucky. Um, I did, I needed to collect ten items from them, and in all the battles, only one time was death shield used. So I got really lucky. Um, I didn't need to use poisons at all. So. 
And the uh, one time they did use that shield was off screen, obviously. It was not in this part, so. Anyways, let me get on to another topic at hand. And uh, it's not going to be the subscriber meetup. I'm going to save that for the last part. Saving the best for last. But on Central, um, they're giving away a mount to anybody who enters the raffle. So everybody who enters the raffle will win this mount. Um, now this mount, you know, it's not just that they're, like they're randomly giving it away. It's for a... Uh, um, you know, it's for a, what's it called, certain reason, um, and it's the, you get a, if you enter the raffle, you get a Storm Rider Hair permanent mount with 40% speed, so it's, you know, an amazing mount, um, the reason I'm giving it away is back in 2012, a really famous, uh, Wizard 101 Central, uh, Lady Storm Rider passed away, and I'm not, I don't mean like quit the game, I mean like she actually passed away in life. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and talk to Wavebringer before I continue. Tainted Bark Bad, I help, I clean. Tainted Bark now clean, find Oakheart, use Bark on Oakheart, Oakheart clean. <laughs> okay, Wave Wavebringer and Mossback. Are hilarious. I don't know, but uh, let's go ahead and pay a visit to Oakheart, where I'll continue with the story and the Wizard 101 Central stuff and stuff. So I always, I'm always clicking that thing to make sure there's no side quests, make sure I haven't missed anything. And uh, Oakheart's right over here. A really good boss to farm for a lot of items. So here is your last teleport stone in this area. Let's go ahead and enter uh, Oakheart's dojo. This affront to everything natural will cause you great torment, little wizard. Alright, so the oak card here has that a uh, tree, uh, excuse me, minion there. And, uh, yeah, a lot of, uh, a lot of interesting drops here. The first, uh, oak card does, uh, drop a pet, the, uh, treant, so, and we're starting off this battle with a weakness, how nice. Oh uh, yeah, it drops a tree and pet. It's pretty bad pet. It's only 36 pedigree. It is a life pet, but I mean, it's a pet nonetheless. So if you are a pet collector, go ahead and uh, try to get that. Uh, this old card. I'm not even sure if it's a guy or girl. It drops the uh, Ruby Blade of the Forest. So it's the best level 40 wand. Uh, it gives five Fire Scorch and a Power Pip at the start of the battle. Obviously, it is no auction. Um, and Oakheart also drops like an amulet. Its amulet is actually worth a lot uh, if you sell it, uh, because there's just simply not a lot of them at this point of the game. It's worth a lot. There are obviously amulets later on in the game, and just here in general, it's worth more. But for this point of the game, it's really nice. Um, and she also drops the uh, best level 40 storm boots. I just remember that a lot of recent uh, people farm uh, Oakheart is for the gear. Not because it's good, it's because it looks really cool and people you stitch it onto stuff, so... Oakheart drops a lot of great stuff, so a lot of like treasure cards like Scarecrow, Woodwalker, you know, Colossus Giant, Hydra, so... Just uh, a bunch of stuff. Anyways, back to uh, Lady Stormrider, so... Lady Stormrider, like I uh, said, was a really famous Wizard 101 Central person. Uh, that did, uh, you know, pass away in real life. She didn't just quit the game. She actually, you know, died. Um, I'm not sure. The cause was never, you know, you know, mentioned or anything like that. Uh, at least not from what I remember. Uh, you know, it is quite unfortunate. Um, but, you know, she was, uh, you know, she always helped, you know, hatching, you know, uh, you know, housing decorations, all that other good stuff. So, uh, a lot of people, you know, like, you know, knew her and uh, you know, enjoyed her company and stuff. Uh, so, and this was back in 2012, and uh, I didn't really talk about it too much because in, in 2012 I wasn't really into Wizard or Central. That was kind of the uh, the time period where I myself, you know, took a break from the game. Um, you know, I kind of quit Wizards for you know a six month period. So uh, that's why I, I didn't mention it back there. There's a Death Shield right there. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, now anyone that joins the raffle will get a Storm Rider hair mount, which um, I'm going to be redeeming for this uh, count when I'm doing the walkthrough, and I'm going to be proudly using that mount for majority of the rest of the walkthrough. So when, uh, whenever you're going to receive the code, they said in May 2014. So I'm not sure if that's early May, late May, middle of May, or just you know th th throughout the whole. They say they will announce when the uh, when the emails will be sent out, it's going to be for your email. So those of you who have a central account, make sure you have your emails set um, to you know one that you currently use. So I uh, remember last time the everybody wins uh, when it was central's you know birthday or whatever it was. I had my wrong email. Luckily, I changed it. You know, I still got all all the stuff there. Um, so yeah, this is a free permanent. 40% uh, plus mount uh, in memory of Lady Stormrider. So, uh, yeah. And right here, I'm down to 570 HP. Yikes. So, uh, I guess, you know, I guess I have a little bit of time. Uh, Chrysalis Part 2 is in the test realm. It's been, uh, for, I think, for a week or something. Um, honestly, I'm not too impressed with the update. Uh, I was expecting, you know, some level like 98 spell or something there is level 98 pets and i gotta admit the pets are pretty damn cool especially the death one. Oh my god the death level 98 pet is just beautiful um so um a lot of people and i kind of agree that the fight with morganth where you i guess spoiler alert here if you don't want to listen um where you do fight her um it's just you answer you answer her you answer the sigils and then you, you take her out and that's it. It's not like you know uh, Malister or anything where you gotta go through this huge long dungeon. It's really cool, great you know, great uh, you know design and animations and stuff. Um, it's none of that. It's just answer the sigils. You don't even kill her. She kills herself technically. Um, it's just a whole complicated thing, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there in the walkthrough, which won't be for a while, because that is the last, the, one of the last arcs, I was going to say the last arc, even though they already announced that they have, I think, uh, they said they have like at least three more arcs to go through, and three arcs is like going to be, I don't know, 15 worlds, <laughs> main quest worlds, so, you know, don't expect Wizards to go anywhere for a long time unless it loses a lot of support, which I doubt. Um, anyways, I'll continue about that more in our next boss battle, as we, uh, finish off Oak Heart. And, uh, we don't get anything amazing, unfortunately. Thank you, little wizard. The Death Oni had put me under a spell, and you have released me from it. I am now free. Yes, you indeed are free. Let's go ahead and, uh, talk to Wavebringer. Oak Heart clean! I dance, but not all clean. I said. Alright, level up, and we are now level 45. Damn. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, level 45, so, uh, getting pretty high up there. Uh, at least for this part of the world. Level 45 is still in Mushu, it's, it's really nice. Anyways, let's go ahead and talk to, uh,. Uh, this, this chick right here. Yes, <laughs> yes, you did a great job getting those dark souls. Now put them in the brazier there and forge your chain. You are doing well, young wizard. There's your chain, all done. Okay, maybe I helped with the spiritual bits, but you did the real work. Thanks for stopping by Shi Hong Bee's metal shop. Go on and show Ken Shui what you did. Maybe he'll start to relax a bit. <laughs> All right, let's talk to uh, Ken Shui again. Let him know we have the uh, soul chain. You have the chain. I was holding my breath till you came back. That is, I would have if I had breath to hold. Oh, brave wizard, you have everything you need to capture that evil spirit? You'll find the evil spirit's vile self beyond the outskirts of town. We village spirits are behind you. 
All right, so now we're going to take out the final boss. Um, I was going to say in Mushu, it's not the final boss in Mushu. The final boss in the Village of Sorrow, Oyotomi the Defiler, or however you pronounce his name, or Tomo the Defiler. I I, I, don't, I don't know. Man, Mushu has some freaking crazy names to pronounce, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but uh, he also drops a lot of interesting items, so let's go ahead and... Uh, I love the little walkway they have here to get up to him. If you want to be humiliated in battle, by all means, fight me! We will indeed fight you. Uh, the only good thing about this guy is he does not have a minion, so you won't need to worry about that. He does have weakness, though. Uh, he is death type, so you know, no life shield or anything. Um, I'm going to try to get through the interesting drops really quickly here. So he drops a blade. Um, that gives five death uh, death wand attack cards and a power pip, and he drops a crown robe uh, for level 35. With plus the tunic of fiery renewal. I actually believe I got it from him a couple times. He also drops some other cool items that I'm not gonna discuss because uh, they're not too important. Anyways, let's talk uh, subscriber <laughs> meetup. There will be one this. Saturday or Sunday. I'm not sure which day. I will have a video out probably uh, probably today. Today or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I'll probably have a video out today or tomorrow on the exact date and time. Most likely it'll be around 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, so now again, I will release a video with all the details and stuff on what is required uh, of you and uh, you know exactly what we'll, we'll be doing but um, uh, there will be a live stream there will be giveaways so you know it's gonna be it's gonna be fun hopefully um, hopefully you know a lot, I know a lot of people showed up last time I just uh, I kind of I only gave like a five minute grace period and then I just left with uh, the people that were there so um, but yeah we'll have a uh, the things you need for sure is a membership, <laughs> so you or the areas unlocked with crowns. So that's that's one thing I will confirm. Uh, again, I will have a another update, in, uh, eh, not another update, another video discussing all that other good stuff. Um, so just stick around for that. Should be coming up shortly. Um, but yeah, back to Chrysalis Part Two. Um, you know they have the new shift spells, which they are. I think they could be incredibly useful if they lower the pip count. It costs four pips, which may not seem like a lot, but at that point in the game, they are also moon spells. So, and at that point in the game, you're gonna basically be getting power pips every turn. So, four pips is really like eight pips, um, and it's not worth it for eight pips. They need to make the spell, I think, you know, two pips. Um, uh, and I think they're probably eventually going to come out with like a moon mastery amulet or something like that. But until then, you know, I think it needs to be like two pips or something. Um, the ending, I'm not really too big a fan of. I love the pets though. Um, there's new, uh, you know, wands with like Maycast rebirth and stuff. That Man, that's too far in my opinion. I'm more of the old school before pets had nothing. No! Curse you young wizard! I shall have my revenge one day. Thanks for interrupting me, you defiler guy. But uh, to make him respawn, you just basically leave this ring and come back in. So uh, you could actually farm him for gold. This is a great spot in the game at this point to farm him for gold because uh, his items do sell for a nice amount. So yeah, um, yeah. But I'm more of a fan where before pets even had you know the make casts or able to get abilities and stuff. Uh, I was more of a fan of this simple. That's one of the reasons I quit Wizards, you know, for a, a little bit. It just got, uh, I don't know. I don't want to say too complicated, but it was just too much. Uh, let's just talk to Ken Shui. Ahaha! I can speak loudly again. I don't feel the evil spirit anymore. Unless you bring that spirit cage too close to me. You now control a powerful spirit and have freed the good spirits of this village. Now we can watch over our families and troubled souls as you have done. Please carry that vile spirit away where it can do no more harm. Like the temple. Yes, take the cage to the guardian there. Alright, so we are done with basically all the areas in Mushu as far as, you know, villages and stuff. 
Let's talk to uh, Kebo. Ah, I sense you have captured a strong spirit. With its power, you can now cross the Cursed River. The Cursed River prevents anything good from crossing it. No matter how distasteful, we can more easily defeat only no death with an evil spirit. The time has come. Once we cross the river, we will meet only no death himself. Our task is simple, but long in coming. We must defeat only no death and bring back the fruit of life. Meet me at the edge of the broken bridge. I'm ready when you are, wizard. This is my dungeon, wizard. No one will take it from me. Alright, so... Now we can go ahead and cross into the Tree of Life. No! You mustn't cross the waters! I will not help! I can't stop! No! I cannot refuse. I will help you across. Alright, so we are done with basically all the areas in Mushu next time, which will be the subscriber meetup. We'll be doing the Tree of Life, among other things. Thank you guys for watching. Stick around for the Wizard 1 subscriber update video, and I'll see you guys next time.